Hello and good evening, London. Good evening, Nigeria. Good evening, there, child of God, daughter of Abraham, son of Abraham. Good evening. Shalom, shalom, shalom to you. Whoever is watching me, however you're watching me, wherever you're watching me from, I am delighted to welcome you tonight to the Dr. Jesus television show. That's what the J in the Dr. J show stands for. We are unapologetic all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the intention of this show to be able to evangelize on how wonderful he is and how welcoming he is of you to his kingdom. Before I go any further, it's, it's our fine, fine tradition that uh, we welcome the spirit of the living God. We ask him to come and take preeminence this time, this hour, on this access, on this transmission, in this broadcast, in this network, on the show. Tonight, Spirit of the Living God, take control. Holy Spirit of the Living God, power of the Godhead will welcome you. We bow at your feet. I lay my crown down at your feet. I ask you to take absolute preeminence. It is nothing to do with me, but it's all to do with you. The force and the power behind my speaking out loud, I welcome you. The force of the Godhead, I welcome you. Spirit of the Lord divine, I welcome you. You that give at me songs in the dead of the night, I welcome you. You that put the words of prayer upon my lips, I welcome you. Spirit of the living God, take absolute control. Sanitize the airwaves with the blood of Jesus. Ah, sanitize the network with the blood of Jesus. Sanitize me head to toe. I am marked inside of my man, my body, soul, and spirit. Inside of my mind too. I am tattooed with the blood of Jesus. So therefore, let no man trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. As you watch, no man will trouble you too. I extend that prayer to you, to the glory of God, to the shame of the devil. Once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Dr. Jesus television show. The show where we give God the platform. The show where Jesus comes right into your house. At the same time, simultaneously, as he's doing for millions all across continents at this hour. God, I bless you. Thank you, Father, for the show. It continues to be your platform. I absolutely render it to you. I offer you this platform as your offering, as, your, as my tithe. As my offering, as my seed, as my first fruit. Father, find uh, acceptability in the sight of me tonight. Find acceptability in the, uh, in, the, in, in the sound of my voice this night in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let us welcome the Spirit of the Living God as I always like to. This night, I am um, reading a different term, Psalm. It is Psalm 144. It goes thus, when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary and Israel, his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Yala Guzanta. The sea saw it and fled. Hey, Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fledest? Thou Jordan, that thou was driven back. Ye mountains that ye skipped like rams and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord. Tremble thou dark powers at the presence of the Lord. Tremble thou forces of the night at the presence of the Lord. Tremble thou children of the devil. Yelaga sata at the presence of the Lord. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord. Tremble thou earthling at the presence of the Lord. Tremble thou occupiers of the waters of the earth at the presence of the Lord. Tremble! At the presence of God, ye occupiers of the second heavens. In the name of Jesus, the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water and the flint <laughs> into a fountain of waters. I bless your name, O God. I welcome you. This is the month of July where, Father, you have continued to bless us. This is the month of the mystery of seven. This is the month of the sevenfold blessing made more manifest. This is the month where you establish completion. You establish rest. You guarantee us of victory. You give us access to our possessions. The establishment of restoration. This is the month for it. The elimination of reproach. This is the month for it. The establishment of perfection. This is the month for it. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. On this show tonight, I pray for every single child of God watching. I say uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for every healing, every miracle, every sign, every wonder. 
every testimony, every word of wisdom, every word of truth, every word of confirmation that we have experienced, that we have saw. We thank you for February. We thank you for March, for April, for May, for, May, uh, for, for June. July is where the year goes like this. The tilting point goes like this. We are now in the second half of the year. May our successes. I pray for me. I pray for Dr. Jesus TV show. I pray for you, O oh child of God, watching you with a clean heart. I pray for you. I say this, that may the rest of the month, may the rest of the months of this year yield to you more than the first six uh, months of this year has already yielded. The later part of this year shall be better from the beginning of the year uh, than the beginning of the year. It shall be better day by day, hour by hour, month by month, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the mystery of seven, July, the seventh month of the year. God has seven spirits. We're told in the book of, in, 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 in the good book about the seven spirits of God. We decree that the mystery of seven be established in our life this July. In this seven month, we decree completion in every area of our life, rest on every side, victory in every battle of life, access to our possessions. We decree restoration of everything stolen by the enemy. I decree the elimination of every reproach in our lives and the establishment of perfection in the mighty name of Jesus. Oil of completion, oil of rest, oil of victory, oil of access to possession, oil of restoration, oil of elimination of reproach, oil of perfection will rest on us. Mantle us on all sides with your provision, O God. In this month of July, you child of God watching, you shall have reason to celebrate. Whatever is of concern to you, this season is eliminated. You shall not journey empty-handed for the rest of this year. Before the end of this year, somebody, your helper of destiny, shall lose their sleep, their peace, their rest, until that which they are meant to do in your life is done. In the name of Jesus, every evil wind that has blown away good from you from January until now, with the tempest of the living God, we blow it back to sender. In Jesus' name. That devil that did not allow you to rest from January until now, in the month of July, he parks and he goes. In Jesus' name, amen. God, I bless you. Beloved, I welcome you to another edition of Dr. Jesus TV show. For those of you watching this program on the Sky platform, by all means, this is where I entreat you. Press the record button because tonight's show is, is absolutely sanctioned by God. It will be so wonderful. Sweet like honey, sweet like nectar. You will want to watch it again and again and again and again. Even if it's not for your own sakes, for the sakes of your family members who you know are watching or do like to watch this show from time to time. Now, Second of all as well, if you are not opportuned or know someone who is not opportuned to watch the show and you know that they are really, really, really interested in this show, especially given, given how wonderful the God has taken us from glory to glory and victory to victory, ah, I ask you that you entreat them to watch the show right now live on www.bentelevision.com www.bentelevision.com to the glory of God, to the shame of the devil. It is a live show. This is part two of what we started to do last week. Last week, we started, I broached on the subject of Brexit. In this country, the United Kingdom. Britain, Gran Britannia, has been shaking like a pot of soup, boiling like a pot of soup. Last week, I brought to you the good, the bad, and the ugly. The horror, the drama, the repercussions, the impacts, the infighting, the turning aside, the fallout, the battle, the savage bloodletting. Hey, 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 on so many different dimensions in so many different ways. Oh, yes, my people. Even Oyibo, they fight too. Oyibo does Ojoro. Yes, it's not just a proclivity of the black man. This week we have seen that what is innate in black people is also innate in white people. Just because this country is, uh, is, is called Great Britain does not mean to say that they are absorbed from the shenanigans of the happenings of the political world. This show will break it down. More importantly, this show continues to be about the, uh, the altar call. Uh, repent, repent, repent. Matthew 3, 2, that was the battle cry of the general John the Baptist. He said, repent, 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 for the kingdom of God is at hand. That is what Dr. Jesus TV show does. It's not about the grammar, it's not about the hairstyle, it's not about the perfume, it's not about the fact it's on sky, it's the fact that it is about Jesus first of all, Jesus all the way, and Jesus most of all. 
Now, this show exists as an altar calling platform. No matter how wonderful the subject matter, this show is not complete without us making an altar call. And that is what um, the Holy Spirit used the Brexit to do last week. I began to, uh, to introduce you to the subject matter, introduce you to the force of the, and, the, and the dynamics at play, the forces at play concerning the Brexit factor, the state of um, the nation. I went into how, as children of God, it is time for. Whereby we sit down and we say, hang on, if this is happening to a country that we had previously thought to be so safe, it is now more important than ever that as individuals we sit down, we call ourselves to a meeting. It was wicked. Chair. You will sit down, you will call your name, you will say, Sandra, sit down. I want to talk to you. Call your name. I do that time to time. I call my name. I sit myself down. I count my teeth with my tongue. I calibrate. I look at the at, at the variables at play. At lo I look at what exactly is going on, and then I the, the goal, uh, with the grace of God on my side, I call myself to cancel. A lot of us need to do that now. Need to do that and ask ourselves that very important question: If the kingdom of God is at hand today, if God comes down today, where would we be? Are we still going to be thinking about Kentucky Fried Chicken? Are we still going to be thinking about the wonderful Chinese takeaway that we can pick up for £5.50, £5.40, £6.60, £10? Is that what we're going to be thinking of? The time is right and the time is not. And think about what happens after this life. You know, that, so that wonderful song that I remember, it goes, um, Eternal life, eternal life. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. The time is right and the time is now where you need to start asking yourself a question about your eternal life. Where do you go from here? If Saul of a sudden the conservative party, where he's looking like Theresa May, she's got the votes now. You know, she never said them. Um, uh, she, she, she was a home secretary for a long time and a lot of us in this country, especially those of African descent, we have watched in wonder at the many revelations, at the many comments to America, wonder magic like, you know, change in atmosphere uh, and, and proceedings that you know, the immigration laws have turned into. Theresa May has been responsible for that. It looks like she's now going to be the conservative party or at least the prime minister of this country. There are implications. As children of God, we need to sit up and we need to wake up to the fact that, ha ha, is there a space in the Britain of tomorrow for me? If worst case scenario, what do I need to do? We need to start planning. For failure to plan is, uh, is planning to fail. You know, my background, 13, 14 years in technical project management, mean, means that you plan for every eventu eventuality. You plan for good, you plan for bad. And you have plans to crash the schedule. If things are so tumultuous, you don't know where to go, what do you do? In project management terms, you have plans for crashing the schedule. Right now, the schedule of politics in this country is being crashed. I said to you last week, even all of nature was speaking. All of nature was speaking the, th the Thursday of that vote. There was rain. There was flooding. The wind was howling. Nature was speaking because nature heard. Human beings were not listening. Human beings didn't hear. Human beings were snoring like Okada, you know? Snoring and what came, what, what, what happened to us? Two Thursdays ago has never before in the 43-year history of the relationship with, that existed between the Britain, between Britain and the European Union, something that had never happened before. The, um, the most uncontemplate, uncontempla uncontemplatable thing that could have happened happened. Britain is now essentially out of Europe. Yes, formalities have still got to take their toll, and we need to trigger Article 50. But the facts are on the ground. And it's not a secret anymore. Now, in this show, we will entreat you and force you to ask salient questions about where it is you go from here. As a child of God, what, what do you need to do? How do you need to position yourself? How do you need to pray? Jesus in John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You need to now know that <laughs> this Jesus that has been saying this in John 14, 16, the time is right to open our ears wide and listen to him. Open your ears wide, not open your ears wide shut. It's not a case of open your ears wide, open your eyes wide shut. No, 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 no. Open your ears. Let he that has ears hear. God is speaking. The heavens are speaking. Nature is speaking. Circumstances are speaking. The politics of the day is speaking. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. The language of this age will not speak against us in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not be responsible for the errors of others. Uh, as we go along this show, I'm going to show you some um, newspaper uh, cuttings that truly brings it home as to what type of week it has been. Last week when I started this show, I praised God in all his names. I chose a new way of praising him. I'm just about to do that again. He continues to remain the champion of all worlds. It is he that has the whole of Britain in the hollow of his hands. It is he that has the whole of Europe in his hands. It is he that no power can gainsay. It is he no power can ride roughshod over. He is the God who is always in, the God who can never, ever, ever be voted out of office. The God who nobody voted into office. The God that does not need the MP's majority. The God that does not need the chief whip to speak in him into position. The God who occupies and will occupy to the end of time. The one that existed before eternity and would exist after eternity. The one whose system never fails. The champion of all worlds. The master strategist. He is the God whose little finger has given the world. This Ebola that he, well, Britain, this Ebola that is the Brexit. He may be Ebola to the children of the devil, but for the children of God, ah, this season will work for us. This season will yield for us. This season will open up to us. This season is one where we are going to be make, made manifest. We are going to go from glory to glory, victory to victory, power to power, strength to strength, favor to favor, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 68, 4 says, exalt him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Jah, and rejoice before him. It is the time to rejoice before God. It is the time to exalt his holy name. It is the time to sing praise to God. It is the new world order. Yes, new variables are at play. Yes, it's a seismic shift. Yes, it's a new paradigm. But you know what? The time to favor Zion is now. Those of you who may not have not have bought property, this is the time to now buy property. From what I see and what I hear of the financial news, uh, property prices are, uh, uh, are coming down. Those who bought when the price was high, or those who failed to buy when the price was high, relax. The price is coming low. We shall all be homeowners in Jesus' name. Now, the stakes are high. Whatever happens, I need you to know this. Children of God, you need to know this. Never forget that the stakes are high. Until the very end, there are always going to be two houses. Once, uh, one house for people that says we should have left. One house for people that says we should have stayed. At the end of the day, we nor lose, there are casualties. But as the children of the Most High God, we shall not be victims of this age. We shall not be victims of other people's mistakes. We can see the blunder, blunder made by the politicians of the day. Uh -uh. And we're thinking of um, Boris Johnson. We're thinking of Michael Gove. We're thinking of Ni Nigel Farage. So many other politicians have blundered. May we not suffer from the spirit of error. May the spirit of mistake, spirit of error, spirit of, 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 of erroneous manifestation and erroneous misbehavior, not cloak us in the name of Jesus. The spirit of error, error will not cover the coat of many colors that God has given us. Who would have thought that Boris Johnson, upon all his gra-gra, would have been Bri-Exodus. Bri that, 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 that's, that's the title of the day. It says Bri-Exodus. Bri <laughs> Nigel Farage has joined Boris in quitting. You know, leader of the UK party has quit. You know, uh, Boris Johnson has dropped out of, his, um, of his, uh, uh, his initial march to be, you know, the next prime minister of this country. You know, in, 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 some, in a drama that played itself out, his right-hand man, his PR man, the person that was in charge of his PR campaign, turned around like a golf and knifed him. Very symptomatic of real life. How many times have you trusted the wrong people? How many times have you trusted the person who should not have been trusted? There was one newspaper during the week I, I, I read, one of these financial times, I think it's here. You know, it says, instead of Boris Johnson, it says, the fall of Caesar. He that thought himself so high. He that thought himself so untouchable. He that thought himself so away, deliciously removed away from it all, was absolutely daggered by his right-hand man. Eleventh hour, the person that should have made his press campaign turned around and announced his candidacy or his contention for the same political position that Boris Johnson wanted to go for. Hey, any friend like enemy, any enemy like friend, 
May God continue to expose them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. May God continue to flush them out with the, with the brilliant light of the Almighty. May God give no rest to the wicked. May the candle of the Lord search out the intentions and the intentions of the wicked and flush them out. May those that seek to maximumly embarrass us be so embarrassed themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. May the tempest of the Lord blow the drama of the satanic realm back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. With the broom of the Lord, we sweep, we sweep hypocrisy. We sweep two-facedness. We sweep adumadu body back to sender. He thought he was going to hurt the conservative party and then next thing you know, the person that he thought was going to be, you know, his PR campaign manager knifed him. A lot of us have suffered. Suffered because people we trusted, people we should not have trusted, have knifed us in the back. Were I to give you examples, ah, the examples who run from day to night. When the show first started, people I was friends with, people who did not believe I would have this show, some were texting me, saying, are you sure that show is your own? Some were saying, Dr. Jesus show, which doctor? Show us the doctorate. Some if I show you the text on this phone, people you think are friends end up being demons, end, end up being devils, end up being demons, satanic incarnate. Once people see that you are heading somewhere, the battle that I faced alone for wanting to, 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 to walk in destiny, not an easy one. Life is full of people who will just absolutely throw the dagger at you from the shadows. But in the mighty name of Jesus, the God that brought me out through it all, he said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy shepherd rod and thy staff, they comfort me. These are the words of God from Psalm, 30, uh, 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 Psalm 23. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of duplicity. Yea, though we walk through the shadow, uh, valley of the shadow of satanic people who cloak themselves, wolves in sheep's clothing, come to us as sheep. But they are truly wolves. Yay! 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 Though a thousand of them may be to our left, a thousand of them may be to our right. Yay! Though assembled, they cannot overrun us. They cannot subsume us. They cannot consume us. They cannot ride us roughshod. They cannot take our portion. They shall not milk us dry. In the name of Jesus, God will bless your name for what you are going to do for your children. This may be a season of turmoil. It may be a season of chaos. It may be a season of disorder. But the word of God, according to the words of Isaiah 14, 24, 27, every purpose of God shall stand. Every purpose of God for your life shall stand. I, Matthew 3, 2 says, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That purpose will stand. That purpose will stand. The kingdom of God is on earth. The kingdom of God is here to stay. Now, no matter the dramatic fallout in government, in financial services, in public sector, in the private sector, in big business, Jesus shall reign. Jesus shall rule. Jesus shall take control. There may be significant turbulence, but not for the children of God. In this era of gross market instability, on Christ the solid rock will stand. We shall always be stable. We shall not fall asunder. Last week, I was giving you a little in information as to my own private thoughts on Brexit. I said to you, I said, it's the finger of God. It is the finger of God. I firmly, I am of the view that this country that gave the world, you know, the King James Bible, because of that, if nothing else, is absolutely going to be absorbed from being absolutely caught up in the casualty of any, any world system. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, whose finger has started stirring this pot of change, will see that his finger of, his finger, his finger of fire his finger of dominance reigns supreme over our lives and turns situation around us for good in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, this is the season, as I said to you earlier on, to call yourself to a meeting. Count your teeth with your tongue. You know, there's a well-known saying that goes, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Okay, you need to stand back as children of God. Take stock of this season. Take stock of this era. You need to say to yourself, how can I become, how can I walk better with God? God is the only guarantee. World systems are falling apart. World leaders are falling apart. Previously conceived notions that could not be swayed are being decimated by the day, by the hour. 
God is the only variable who does not shift. God is the only variable who cannot shift. God is the only variable who stands the test of time. It is now time for you to make peace with God. Make peace with God. Make peace with yourself. You know, the time is right to favor your soul. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? Everywhere you look at treachery, treachery, treachery. This is the Friday, July, the first editions of the uh, Daily Mail. It says it's, it's the Tory day of treachery. This is the day that Michael Gove knifed Boris Johnson. It says, most savage bloodletting since the fall of Thatcher as Gove knives Boris in battle to the PM. You know? Now there are battles, whether we like it or not. Be prepared.